Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our playthrough in the Iberian Peninsula for Crusader Kings 3 in the months of November and December. We're about to move into December, and uh, actually, I'm recording this episode as of uh, the Monday that you're going to watch it. My, my sleep schedule is nuts. It's 2.18 in the morning. Um, we are on death's door. You can see right here, we're dying. So we're going to be having moving on to our second generation here pretty soon. I don't really want to press these because it's so little that I, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we are under severe plague. Oh, I don't know if I would call it severe yet, but it's it's substantial. It's in Santiago. I guess not. Here, uh, right at the edge, Galician pox, pox, major smallpox. So we'll see how that goes. And it's January of 906 AD. Here, we'll look at the, uh, there we go. Oh, it's all throughout. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We, uh, we should enter seclusion right now. This is what people historically did. I need to experiment with both of these. Actually, given where it's at and that the capital seems to be clear, actually. Let's take the other one. Isolate capital. You lose 20 uh, legitimacy. This county has been placed under quarantine to protect it from the plague. Controlled decline, but plague resistance goes up to plus 40. And when combining that with our other plague resistances in that county, maybe that'll help out. Isolate the capital. There it is. Okay. Unpause. Zill has died. That, that was one of our counselors. So our steward is dead. Remember, our wife is the mayor of a city, so we're not getting anything. This is our second wife, and we're not getting any benefits from her as a result of that. We need a new steward. I suppose it will be Villatoive. And I'm going to see if Villatoive... He's at 71% acceptance if he'll accept a demand conversion. Hey, he agreed. Excellent. So that moves him up to plus 100 on his opinion of us. And another counselor has perished. This time, our diplomat. Let's put uh, Countess Gotu into that position. February of 906 AD. And the Red Plague. With the first wave of fever and vomiting, I desperately hoped it was nothing worse than sweating sickness. And I did get a little better. Arose from my bed, returned to my duties. For a week, all was well, until I noticed the first red spots in my mouth. Indeed, these lesions are a sure sign of smallpox. Very dangerous if left untreated. That's our son and doctor telling us that. So I always like to go with these almost all the time. The do no more than what is necessary. Arius lowered his hand into the bucket he brought to my chambers. When he pulled it out again, a little fish was wriggling between his fingers. Open wide, he said, and dropped it in my mouth. I struggled not to retch as it tickled the back of my throat. Whatever was in that fish turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated, and the world seems a little brighter. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, Sister Elvira died from smallpox. Things are getting real. Uh-oh, another one. Just I, I just dismissed it as... Vermudo has died. He didn't die from smallpox, though. He uh, he drank himself to death. So, we now need a new spy master, and that spy master 
It is going to be our son. I feel safest about that. You kind of want to be cautious on who you pick as your spy master. Oh, snap. Duke Airman Exildo of Galicia has found peace in Christ's embrace at 59 years of age. He died from smallpox. An old man, he lived a long, fulfilling life. Duke Arius ascends to the throne. A modest and temperate man, Arius' passive nature may also be his undoing. Okay. Let's, um, look at the accomplishments. Can I move this out of the way? Continues Duke Arius. Okay, we are paused. Let's stand by here. So, for Airman Exildo, starting off with the very first episode, we became friends with the king. Um, our father declared an annexation war on us. Mayor Guillerme came to me with a gleaming bounty he'd stolen. We, we, we returned that. I think... I don't know. I might have accepted it. I don't remember. Uh, our fellow vassal Osorio died from his wounds. We were victorious against our father's annexation war. Um, our fellow vassal, uh, this is our father, died of consumption. We inherited Coruña as a result. We joined our father-in-law's annexation from Monterey against Fetitza II. This was the womanizer, trying to sleep with everybody's wife. Uh, my fellow vassal Osorio died of consumption. We imprisoned Raimundo de Galicia. This was the leader of a peasant revolt. No. No, he wasn't. He came to us asking us to take the county, uh, his county, from the Sheik because they'd rather be ruled over by us. And we instead sent him back to the Sheik in chains. I think that's what happened there. We created the Duchy of Galicia. Our fellow vassal Elvira died of consumption. I think that would be our mother. Our grandmother, okay. Uh, my daughter Estefania was born. I became friends with Sancho. A peasant revolt led by Gonzalo rose up against me. We won that peasant revolt and imprisoned Con Gonzalo. I became friends with Castellan Gaton the first of Astorga. My ward Duke Arias completed his tutelage. My daughter Sabella was born. My friend King Alfonso died of consumption. My daughter Maria was born. I became friends with Mayor Zeal of Beta Betanzos. Duke Arias of Galicia and I became rivals, but then immediately settled our grudges. Aramisinda's pregnancy in ended prematurely. That's whenever we decided to console her and we became friends with the Duchess our wife. Uh, we imprisoned our daughter, Estefania. She wasn't queen yet. This was to keep her from the arranged marriage with the bastard son of the guy that was trying to sleep with everybody's wife, including ours. Um, when we released her from house arrest after we had successfully plotted the murder of that dude, we got her married to the king of Aquitaine, which is where she's at now. I experienced the pain of losing my best friend, Castellan Gaton, this was our father-in-law, who drank himself to death. I became friends with Mayor Terexia of Farrell. I traveled to Canterbury for my very first pilgrimage. I became friends with Mayor Vasco of Miranda de Ebro. My friend Sancho died of old age. I murdered Vermudo. My friend Mayor Terexia of Farrell died in a horse riding accident. This, this was the bastard son. That was a fun episode. My ward, Mayor Vasco, completed his tutelage. My friend, Duchess Ermesinda of Galicia, drank herself to death. I married Mayor Visclavara. My son, Manuel, was born to Visclavara. My fellow vassal, Albito, died of heart failure. My friend, Mayor Zill of Betanzos, died from smallpox. This just happened in this episode. I became decrepit with smallpox, and my fellow vassal, Elvira, died from smallpox which was my aunt. Okay, so that sums up Ermin Exildo's rule. Now we're playing as his son, Arius. And Arius is an 8, 9, 12, 12, 25. He's an astute intellectual, a novice physician, and that's bad. A profligate, negative 10% monthly income. 
our vassals, plus 49, plus 45, plus 7 on opinion, plus 3, and plus 43. Not amazing, but not terrible. That's a good start, I would say. We can go ahead and get rid of all these. Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of every single one of them. Okay. First thing we'll do, we have a lot of stress. Uh, but look at how bad this plague is. This plague is horrible. So we don't want to do a hunt or definitely not a feast at this point in time. I think I would like to do a pilgrimage, but I don't, I can't afford it. I have 95 gold and I'm currently making 4.5 ducats a month. We have inherited the Duchy of Galicia, the County of Santiago, and the County of Coruña. Our lone brother, Manuel, he inherited the County of Tui. And he has smallpox. So everybody in this whole area of Galicia has smallpox. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, let's see, we quarantined... We need to pick a lifestyle. We could go learning. That's what our base is in. And we're even in the correct tree. We could get this trait right here. Which is pretty powerful. Um, I think I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to transition over to stewardship as soon as I can. But in the meantime, we may catch some more experience and get new traits here and the learning tree before I can switch over, in which case, because we're under plague, we'll throw it into whole of body. So we're gonna take this one here, scholarship focus, get plus 15% development growth. That'll be that. Our inventory is, uh, every, we, we already auto-equipped everything it looks like that I would wanna have. Uh, we have a new realm priest. Oh, we're trying to murder Violante. I think I want to get rid of that. And instead, I want to begin... Our wife is at plus 77. Let's see if we can up that with a sway scheme. Get her happy, and then next will be the bishop. We need Countess Goto. I thought I did this already. Spymaster will be, oh, well, but they're not very well qualified. Oh, I, I, I did this whenever I was his dad. That's right. Uh, well, Pio is going to be our new spy master. You are doing development. Okay, good. I am trying to sway the count the Duchess. Okay, excellent. What's up here? Oh, we're not employing a physician, a court physician. So, uh, Maria has good aptitude. She's got high learning. She's a nun, a novice physician, an astute intellectual, but a drunkard, so that's that's not good, but we'll roll with her. She's the best option by far. While I am here, I will appoint a tutor, and it will also be Maria for that high learning, and she rates as average. Okay, we can ask our head of faith for gold, and we will. And it said he would give us a claim on East Francia, and then that disappeared, and that's okay, because I wouldn't accept it anyway. We can station a men-at-arms regiment. This regiment here is stationed at Coruña, because Coruña has a general bonus to it. Stationed men-at-arms toughness plus 20%. 
Our only other option is Santiago, and it does not have a general bonus. It's a specific one for spearmen and skirmishers. We don't have any of those, but that's our only option. So we are going to select Santiago there, and that clears that off. Uh, there's nothing else here we need to address. So that takes care of transition of power. And we can go ahead and roll. Why is it not letting me paused? That's a glitch. Is the date moving forward? It is not. Oh, well, crap, guys. Let me try saving it, and we'll just call it a temp. Exit uh, to the main menu. And then load up temp Now oh, there we go. Okay, good. To the Serene Dugarius of Galicia, I have considered your plight. Okay, we got the money. Only 100 gold, but it's a free 100 gold, so I'm happy with that. Night falls ill. Sancho has gained smallpox. Grave news reaches me. My son and heir Vasco has fallen ill with smallpox. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by his bedside, yet all is not lost. Vasco might survive should luck be on his side. Only God knows his fate. This is an enemy I cannot protect him from. Wow. I want to know how he became a mayor. How did he get that? Oh, because his mom... No, his wife is mayor. That's why. Okay, well, that makes sense. My poor wife. Grave news reaches me. Future uncertain. Okay, so be cautious. She has smallpox. She didn't die. Successful treatment. Oh, we just lost a counselor. Apparently it was our priest, because we have a new realm priest. Yeah, that it got auto-filled. Okay. As I walk down the halls, I hear some muffled laugh. That voice, I'm not used to hearing it so clear and bright. I push the half-open door, and there in front of me is my son and heir, Vasco, seemingly recovered from smallpox. My beloved son and heir is well once more. It's difficult to not shed a tear of joy. Wonderful news, Jesus be praised. Absolutely. Gosh, it's just raging. All along the coastline. This is the downside of having trade ports and stuff. Okay, she increased her knowledge. Neighboring ruler won war. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how much I do not yet know. What more? There must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages, as books fall apart or languages are forgotten. This reminds me of a professor I had. He was an older man, as most professors are, and he had never once read a fiction, fictional book in his life. Because there was his approach, his, his take was that there was just so much actual real knowledge to discover that who has time for fiction, right? That's what this makes me think of. Uh, perhaps I could contribute by making a new translation of one of the classic works. Yeah, sure. 
The Secret of Secrets Bestowed to Alexander. Learning. Learning. Oh, we... You know what? Now's a bad time. I really need to reduce the, uh, the stress. So, I would not normally take that option, but... Life is coming at us like a fastball right now. Our wife is pregnant, but our counselor died. All right, so, um... Rosendo... Wait, uh, I'm sorry, stewardship. I guess... That would be a reassign. Uh, she's a seven. That's only one point less than Sancho's, and she's a powerful vassal, so we're going to assign her. That's really kind of a terrible score. I'm not happy with it. But we just got to get through this period and let until this plague rolls off. It looks like it did take over Santiago. Oh, on pause. We're in September of 906. As I walk down the halls, okay. Beloved wife is well once more. Jesus be praised. The filth of the road is kept well away from me by horse as I ride through the streets of Santiago. But the same cannot be said of those who trudge through it. A peasant throws himself at me, one arm wrapped around a small stumbling child. My lord, please, he beseeches, pushing the child towards me. He is very sick. Could you spare the merest touch to heal him? Get that thing away from me. We're paranoid. This is absolutely what we would do. I'm going to role play it. You can see everything else gives us stress. So we get a stress reduction by recoiling away. My wife is once again absent from our chamber. Ah, lost in thought, rarely seen at court. So she's, she's not happy and she's gone at times that are inappropriate for her to be gone. Her every move will be watched. I think it's pretty likely that that event usually means she's cheating. So we are trying to sway her and succumb to fatal apoplexy. Go to died. Uh, she's at a plus 77, so that's really not terrible. But um, we're trying to get that up to 100. All right, we need a diplomat. You, sir, are no diplomat. We'll have to go with Rosendo? No? Oh my gosh, we have very bad choices here. I guess we are going to put the mayor in charge. That's awful. We'll try and get that sorted out once the smallpox is gone. Struggling and shouting, a large man is dragged before me. He is clearly a Viking raider, the type who has sown chaos in our room for decades. Please have mercy. My name is Scully, and I've been living in County of Coruña for years. I was left behind because I was injured. I can't get this Viking accent that sounds more like Hispanic to me. Uh, the villagers saved me. They're my family now. The Viking falls to his knees, hoping I'll spare his life. Several peasants confirm his story. What's your faith? Mm. You don't seem to be assimilating real well. You're a hunchback. Now, <laughs> you may entertain my courtiers with your unique story. A good act doesn't balance out the bad. You die. As you serve the village, you may live for now. He's dead. <laughs> This isn't normally how I do playthroughs, but I'm trying to roleplay a person who's under 
very severe circumstances, and so hard choices have to be made. And he is brooking no quarter. The like tolerance goes way down. Low County Control in Coruña. Let's uh, see about fixing that by sending our marshal out there. War has been declared by this dude. The, sound, the county of Sicubia. Well, how many troops do you have? 539. How many troops do I have? 1481. What are you thinking? Do you have... Do you have allies? No. Okay. Well. Uh, right here. Oh, whoa, where'd he get those troops from? Um. Oh, there's nobody that I can call? Enemy ally joins war. Talk on it. Uh, keep looking for secrets. Prince Highwell the second. Uh. We have had a daughter. Munya is fine. Let's do this. Hit pause. Set her up for learning. And you will be educated by your mom. I don't know where these allies are coming from. Maybe they're already in his army. And that's why he, he plussed up from 500. Oh, no, there they are. Ay, 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 ay. And our new, newly newborn daughter has smallpox already. Can't believe we don't have any allies. Why can't I call you in? You're a mayor. We we married our kids off to mayors. Who does that? Mm, I don't want to do any of that. Okay, fine. Stop looking.
I don't know how this is going to roll out. I'm really hoping my troops are better. Like, it's one of those situations where, like, almost like a peasant army where the, the troop types of these guys, they may have massive numbers, but their strength isn't all that great. Finally, the plague has left the realm, and we must take this as an opportunity to rise from the chaos it left in its wake. We now emerge from the wreckage of the old world, and the time has come to consider the new. Spare no expense. Uh-oh. Nervous. They seem loath to attack. I don't know why. Okay, she's at a plus 100 now. Um, let's start swaying our bishop. They thought about it. Who is this? All right, I have to pause this. You are in charge of what? Tula Tula. Which does not include this place, which is what I'm at war with. No? Where's, where is Sikubaya? Uh, well, I'm on it. Okay, duh. Yeah, I'm sieging it. Alright, so it wouldn't affect my present war. Uh, I'm fine with accepting a truce. He pays me 50 gold. It says that I would win. I don't know if that was both their armies or just one. Uh, did we successfully siege? It doesn't have dashed lines. Oh, there we go, there we go. Fifteen days left. Man, we got some bad marriages out there. No friends. That's... That's awfully tough. Prisoner taken in siege. I guess that's his wife? No, it's his son's wife. Okay. Well, we will enforce demands. And we get 61 gold for that. Thank you, dirtbag. Attack me while I'm under... Plague. Let's make sure I don't have any prisoners to... Yeah, the prisoner was let go. Upon the signing of the peace treaty. Here, I need you to come home also, bud. Okay, dodged a bullet there. And, um... 
It looks like the smallpox is gone. Uh, so doesn't that mean... I can come out of seclusion or whatever? I guess it automatically does it. When the, uh... I think I quarantined. I didn't seclude. I, um... I don't remember what the other one's called, but... When the plague leaves, it looks like... I automatically come out of that state. Because I don't see it in the decision area. Okay, how are we doing on stress? Let's maybe go on a pilgrimage. Um, pilgrimage. Pilgrimage, pious, confirm, and go to Rome. And uh, we need to set this up correctly. Uh, experienced captains and mercenary guards, I guess. Where are these other? Got, uh, forest. Forest. Oh, oh and mountains. So, instead of mercenaries, what if we went, uh, a forest guide? Uh, that seems to be a bit better. Let's run with that. Okay, start the pilgrimage. Off we go. Contemplate old empires. I think I'm going to make this the... I went for pious, right? So, 20 stress... Well, shoot. I need the stress reduction, though. Okay. Alright, disband all troops. And we got a learning perk. We can take Scholar. Am I able to select a new... No, not yet. That will be... 8 April 9-11, so a few years. Okay, what do our vassals think of us now? Is, are things getting any better? They are. Yes, they are getting better. Uh, possible outcomes... Whoops, I'm sorry. You gain 75 prestige. Arius Pilgrimage gains 7 days progress towards next destination. Oh, Sancho's kind of gotten a little bit lost, so... This is a diplomacy and learning challenge, and we have a 65% chance of being successful. Yes, we did well. Okay. Uh, jeez, man. F. Tucker. <laughs> so, we died. Duke Arius of Galicia has found peace in Christ's embrace at 43 years of age. He was slain in battle. Known to be a respected scholar, he spent most of his days studying in his library rarely leaving his castle. Duke Vasco ascends to the throne. Having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. So, I mean, I would say let's look at his accomplishments, but he didn't really have many. Oz. Mayor Rodrigo of Lagrano did not raise a finger to assist as me and my traveling entourage were assaulted outside his holding at Lagrano. Wow. Simply wow. Okay. Well, let's do this again. 
I am sat at my table about to break my fast, but all hunger has left me. Something feels amiss. And I know this to be true when I see my caravan master Sancho somberly approaching. My duke, a messenger arrived in the night bearing grievous news, he says softly. I'm afraid... I'm afraid your father, Duke Arius, was slain in battle. It was in Lagrano on the road toward Vaticano when he perished. My sincere condolences, my lord. All right. Well, son of a gun, man. That's ruthless. Uh, we do have a son. So we should have... We have the Duchy, we have the County of Santiago, and we have the County of Coruña. Our uncle has tweet. Incredible, man. Let's go with this. And, uh... Take scholarship focus. It's the 11th of December, 908. Man, what a hit. Get out of there. Empty council positions. Everything. And we're not going to benefit from our wife because she's a mayor. Shiznit. Okay. Appoint a chancellor. What about, uh... Gosh, my... My vassals are the worst, also. This is, like, kind of, like, historically accurate. Their aristocracy is the least qualified. Ah, maybe that's a little unfair to say. Plenty of them were qualified, but... That was the thing, is that even... I'm, like... The golden road was laid for you. It didn't matter if you were incompetent or not. This sucks. Um... I'm going to reassign Rosendo as my diplomat because I just flat... Well, I do have one right here. Never mind. Assign you. And I need a steward. My vassals are awful. So they'll just have to be pissed. Which isn't good for me. We're in a transitional power. We don't even get the benefits from our wife. This is... Who the heck marries their kids off to... I don't think I remember doing that. I don't I don't think I did it. I think the computer did it, but... Maybe I'm just flat wrong. <laughs> Dismiss the regent. I don't want to offer a hostage. Alright, well, we're making 5.1 ducats a month. And it's December of 908. We are 24 years old. The expansion of trading ports in Coruña has made it a thriving hub for Jewish peoples all in Iberia. A member of major Sephardi trading family has been bringing in more and more of his people. Soon it will be the very heart of the vast Jewish trade network across Iberia. If they are not Christian, they are not welcome. You get locals persecuted. Huge reduction in development growth, as well as popular opinion. The social and economic growth of this area has been sabotaged by laws which discriminate against religious minorities. Okay. Or what a fine development. Thriving Jewish community, it's kind of the opposite. You get plus 25% in holding taxes, plus 30% in development growth. And plus 25 public opinion. Popular opinion. And the cultural acceptance grows between the Sephardim and the Galicians. Well, that's the one I'm taking. I didn't really see any downsides to that. Okay, hombre, you gotta change that beard, man. I, I, I never, I've never been a fan of the, the chin curtain. I think that's ugly as sin, man. Um, yeah, just go with that. Save and exit. Okay. What are we looking at here? 8, 11, 9, 11, 15, and 10. 
We are an astute intellectual, a hunter, and a murderer. So that's going to hurt us. We're a known murderer. But we're also temperate, ambitious, and brave. Those are actually, we have pretty strong traits. I'm a little surprised that the numbers are not higher. Okay, we're good here. All of this should have transferred over automatically, and it did. Uh, under court, we have a physician, we have a tutor, we have a caravan master. Okay. Our council is respectable and even strong in some areas. I would consider both of these strong. This is. OP. Uh, we have a good bishop. So it's not a terrible setup. Gosh, I can't believe our second generation died that fast, man. I spent money on protection, too. That was incredible. We had just gotten out from under the plague. My goodness. Uh, Galicia is much larger than I would ever want it to be. We have Soria now and Burgos. Count Gaton. Who has all of these titles. Oh my gosh. He's very strong. But only 553 military strength. That's odd. That's a lot of titles, man. Has a bunch of sisters, so he got everything. He is under a regency. He's 14 years old. Ooh, man, he's all wounded. And he's reclusive. Okay. Uh, who are you? Count Lub of Balad al-Walid. Where is that at? I'm sure I'm going to accept... Oh, it's right there. I don't know. Somewhere around here. I don't understand your title. County of Balad. Oh, here it is. Um, I'll accept. I have no intentions of going out that far, and perhaps it will keep, uh my vassal from continuing to expand because he's just chewing territory up. Alright, we can uh, get another point here. Ordained rulership, monthly piety plus 10% and clergy opinion plus 5. Excellent. Moving right along, how are we looking on the technology front? This will be done in eight years time so this guy should see that come to fruition we are looking at that right we're focused on it boom 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 public works fascination yes excellent okay we're making 6.2 ducats a month has the time come to take this county by force I can't do it. Uh, can't do it. Fine. This is our uncle. He's like a half uncle. Right? Vasco's mother was Engelrade. Oh, no, he is. No, that's Munya. Okay. Arius is one year old. Are you... You're not even being trained in anything. Chimney Cricket. Uh... Who is your guardian? No.
I don't think so, Mama. Remove that guardian. You will be educated by myself. There we go. Who am I swaying? Absolutely nobody. I probably should be swaying her. What is your opinion of me? Plus 32. That's kind of in the dirt. Okay, we're about to enter into 910. There it is. We've got 510 gold. We're making 6.2 ducats a month, so that's gone up rather substantially. And uh, at 500 gold, we can actually probably build some stuff. So these two, these were some ongoing construction projects, and they're now, they are now done. We have a uh, level two prayer hall here, monasteries. Okay. Tax and plague resistance. Over here, we have a chapel. Why do I have a chapel here? It's the monastery's building line. Okay. So we will move on to prayer halls. Will we? Hold on. What are you guys building here? Carver's guilds. Um... Just kind of wondering, should I do a trade port? Be available, right? Breweries. Plus development growth. I'm switching to that. Construct. There we go. So we have monastery lines in this temple. And we have a brewery here to make money. Um, which is kind of what we want to do because the special building helps with tax and stuff. Well, I guess it's not a... Per yeah, it is. There's a percentage. Plus 30% holding taxes. Plus 20% growth. I kind of want to save up for this. It's a thousand gold. Okay. I think um, Vasco here is going to build the Bells of Santiago. Campostello. We'll see how, how things transpire. 910 AD. A lot of drama happened. We got really slapped hard in the face by that plague. And uh, then immediately after that plague, uh, we lost our first generation um, Lord. And then immediately after the plague lifted, while going on a pilgrimage to Rome, our second generation Duke died. So now we are on Vasco, and we're in this weird situation where all of these kids, these siblings, were all married off to mares. Maybe we can find an appropriate... I mean... It would have to be a young person. That's why I don't like marrying kids off. Sort by age. Italian, French, Franconian, Irish, Franconian, Welsh. I'm trying to find something local, you know. Bavarian. Uh, eh. French. I wish they had something on here that showed you distance from capital or something like that. Because I could see us marrying into this area here, which would be French, but I don't, you know, every single French person, they could be from anywhere in here, so I don't know how to measure it out. He's, she's three years old. So I'll just kind of let it Leave it alone, I guess. My Marshal Rosendo, known for his interest in venery. Okay, so we have uh, hunting prospects. 
and uh, we should probably do that. Manuel wants to negotiate an alliance. Uh, you're already uh, one of my vassals. I don't think I need to do anything special there. Let's go here to activities. Set up a hunt. And plus one, plus four, plus four, plus five, six. We'll go here. Okay, start the hunt. Can't wait. And... You might be less valuable after I win. An imposing man is standing on the road ahead of us. I... So what is this? This is a prowess challenge. Well, we would do it. 71... We're brave. Alright, we're gonna do it. We gain the trait wounded. Okay. As we await the arrival of the guests... All right, soon. Successful wound treatment. Aptitude is excellent. Yeah, go with this. What do we want him for? My hunt is about to begin. Master of the hunt. Yep. There you go. Let's get out there. Uh, I must keep up with appearances. We are lowering stress. You all seem to be excellent bowmen. I, I like to do that. Just because I, I really loathe the idea of taking food out of poor people's mouths. I, I never understood why they had that rule in place, you know? I don't... It'll be nice when we're in heaven and we can talk to people from different eras and find out what the thinking is. I, I'm not so... I guess brutish I don't know what I'm not so skin deep as to just assume that it's because they were greedy selfish dirtbag human beings uh, I think that could be the case in some instances but I would imagine there's some sort of an explanation uh, they could still be wrong but there's some sort of an ideology behind it an ideal so I'll be curious to find out about that after it, we ride. I hope I don't die. This is a boar. Which wouldn't bother me except Game of Thrones exists. Oh, no. Oh, well, we're... We're a hunter and we're ambitious. may be seriously injured. I don't think so, man. We're gonna go spears ready and forward. Uh, the, like, a whole bunch of people got a plus opinion for us there. So that would be... And he needs that. Okay, the group surges forward, fanning out around the terrified animal. We slowly surround it, spears bristling, but Zil takes a swipe before we put the squealing beast out of its misery. Quick, he needs help. Hopefully Zill's okay. Uh, I'll just give this to our sister. Oh gosh, I should have kept it, man. Illustrious trinket. That was a mistake. <laughs> That's really, really good. I can't believe it. Well, that mistakes were made. <laughs> Finish the hunt. Dog on it. Let's go to our court and establish an antiquarian. Now 
and that should help with the upkeep. Where's it at? Right here. Okay, helps with the upkeep. I said, man, I'm upset about that. <laughs> hey, look, it's Christmas. December of 910, what a coinkadink. All right, well, we're, we have 371 ducats. We're making 5.5 ducats a month. It's actually more. We're just a wave right now, so we're on our way back. Uh, let's go ahead and let that happen. Uh, we're constructing a brewery here at this monastery. Or bishopric. Okay, so... If we let January roll by and get into February, we, we should see what, see what we're actually making. I'll stay at 5.5. Okay, we're going to save it right here, guys. And, uh... It, it, it wasn't like the most exciting episode. I think that murder plot was the most exciting one, but we had a lot of significant things happen in this episode. So things are developing. We are on our third generation of the Menendez, um, the ruling part of the Menendez family. Remember that Portu also is under us. This is our cousin, I think. Oh, no, wait a minute. That He's Cantabrian. Dude, what happened here? Title history. Duke Ordanyu inherited this from the Duchess. What happened? Oh, her kid died. Raimundo. Died from consumption. No, it would be this one. Smallpox. Fernando. Oh, look, he was really, really close. He was 15 years old. He was on the cusp of inheriting. If he had inherited and then died, I think we would have inherited it. So. Uh, very, very close. We almost had Porto, I think. But uh, we don't. It is now in the hands of House Cantabria. So. We'll see how things move forward. Um, Galicia is... You know, it's continuing, it's growing west to east instead of north to south. So, um, it'll, it'll continue to be interesting how this develops. Uh, if we could get all this coastline, we're going to be very rich, but we're also not going to be nearly as condensed as what I was planning. But, um, let's hit save. I think maybe I already saved overwrite just in case. All right, again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. More importantly, I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. There should be another episode coming out on Wednesday. For those of you that are Americans, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode where this story continues.